Hello, Jamie. Hello, Dean. Uh, Matt, look, we've, we've been talking about Harry Maguire potentially leaving Manchester United if he would go to another Premier League team. If you'd take him, would you have him at Newcastle? I'd have him on loan, definitely. For uh, Especially with our um, financial fair play at the minute, I think it's uh, it w- would be a good fit for him. Does he get in your especially team? With, uh, Does he get in Newcastle's team? I don't think he gets in the first 11, but who have we got after... Botman and, and Cher. Well, why would he leave you know I mean? Manchester United where he sat on the bench to go to Newcastle and sit on the bench? Because he's like, he'd be, you know, his fifth choice at Man United. He'd be, you know, he'd be pushing Cher, you know, for a starting spot. I mean, we're not going to sit on the halfway line like Man United do, you know, and like you said earlier, and I totally agree with, you know, crossing into the box, set pieces, all stuff, he's fantastic. Um, but, you know, like you say, it, getting in behind, he's, he, he's terrible, but, I think he'd be a good addition for us on a 12-month loan. Yeah, and, and Eddie Howe wouldn't sell it to him like, you know, you're going you're gonna to be sat on the bench. He, and, Ar- and Harry Maguire's got to back himself. I think it'd be a great move for him if he left Man United and went to Newcastle with Eddie Howe saying to him, if you play well, you're going to start. I think that's a yeah, great I move think, for him. I think with, with Eddie Howe as well, especially, obviously, he's, he, he's, he seems to be getting all these uh, all these English lads in at the minute as well. And, and they're all buying into his philosophy. I think they're all doing... Unbelievably well. I mean, I, I was at that Spurs game, Jamie, last season, and uh, what a game that was! Mm, yeah, it was a great. Game. What, what about Saint Maximum leaving to Saudi? Are you are you happy with that? I thought he was doing all right for you. Do you know what we've 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 sent Maxim in? He's been a messiah for us for the past you know three or four years. But I personally think his time's coming to an end. Um, he's not. He's never fit. You know, he'll play ten games a season, and if you can get. 30, 40 million for him then, then you know, I'll shake his hand and wish him good luck. Mm. Matty, I really appreciate you phoning in. I want to go to yeah, thanks, John, who's a Chelsea fan. All right, John. Hi, John. Morning, Ch- Morning gents. Great show as always. Um, just a quick one on both the areas, really. Go on. Harry, Ka- Harry Kane, why are Chelsea not going in for him? We need a striker. Pochettino's there. There's obviously a link there. He lives in London. He wants. To, he, I think he wants to get the Premier League record. Why are Chelsea not putting the money in? We spent half a billion last year on rubbish. So why are we not? Put, why are we not putting serious money in on someone who will transform our squad? Because there's no point putting an offer in for someone who won't join your football club. Bayern Munich have put in an offer because potentially Harry Kane has sat down and said, yeah, you know what, I'd be open to it. I don't think Harry Kane would sign for Chelsea. Poch must have asked him, Jimmy. Yeah, and he's, and he's, and he's probably said no. That's probably what's gone on. So that's why you don't you don't put an offer in for someone who don't want to join because then it just embarrasses you. No, but you and you've been embarrassing enough. Sure you still test the wall. Well, hang on a minute. It's coming to tell you I've got a major trophy in 35 years. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, anyway regard, regarding Harry Maguire, I've heard William with Harry Maguire. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We've got Levi Colwell sitting there, who is one of the best young centre-halves in this country. If we buy Harry Maguire, that's the end of Levi Colwell, as far as I'm concerned, because he will leave. Mm. Who have you, who have you got there now? You've got uh, Silver, who's Silver. 38. Levi Colwell. Uh, Benoit Badia Shield. Chalaba. Mm. Still ain't got a striker though, John. No, I know we ain't. We need one. Any chance you can get on the top of them and get Kane through? You ain't having Kane, mate. You ain't having Kane. Yeah, yeah. No chance. No chance. How do you feel about Lukaku coming back? Uh, For me, he's burnt his bridges. For me, from some of the things he said. He burnt his bridges when he came out with that interview with his first time. I get that, John, but say you ain't got a striker. Say you don't sign a striker. Surely you're going to want Lukaku to be at the football team and give you a chance of competing again. If he wants to be there. Yeah, but do you want to... That's what I was about to say, Dean. Do you want a bad egg in the bunch? It was, there, was, there was too many bad eggs in there last year. That's why we finished 12th. You've you got to get him out. In there. Yeah. yeah, he's got to go. He's got to go. Even if we, like, I heard on the news earlier about Nicholas Pepe tearing up his contract. Tear up Lukaku's contract. We're paying him insubordinate amounts of money. Just tear it up. You can't do that, mate. doesn't work like that, sadly. Uh, John, I really appreciate you phoning in. Good luck. Uh, they'll stay up this season, Chelsea. Dean, you That's know, they'll, harsh. Yeah, they'll stay up. I think they're better than you know West Ham and That's, better than three other teams. Don't be mocking Chelsea. <laughs> they were a shambles last season. Let's go to Darren. He's a Spurs fan. All right, Dazza? Hi, Daz. Hi, hi guys. Yeah, Daz, uh, nice to speak to you. I know I speak to you on the sports bar, but go on. What do you want to say about Harry Kane? I want him to go. What do you mean you want him to go? I just think he's too slow for the way Spurs play. You spilt your breakfast, sir, Daz? No. <laughs> what do you mean you want him to go, go, Darren? I just think we'd be better off with a faster striker. 
Yeah, but I mean, he guarantees you 25 goals, more or less. 30. You see all the other clubs struggling for a striker. Man United need one. Everton need one. Chelsea need one. West Ham need one. And you've got the best one there. Mm. I agree. I think he's better than Haaland, but... Mm. Haaland, but... But you still want to get rid of him. But you want to get rid of him. He's better than Haaland, but you want to get rid of him. But I just think he's... I think if you look at the way uh, Postacoglu plays, he's too slow. Mm. Dad, so I'm going to have to let you go and uh, I know he, he's a, reg- a regular caller on the sports bar Dad. he think, needs to you know, get some wheat I think Poster Coglu will have to play the way Harry Kane wants to play don't you Talk Sport Breakfast waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6am on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker Talk Sport